Hi, uh, my name is uh, Dia Shaklia. I will be presenting today the regulated bioanalysis for small molecules. This presentation reflects my views and it does not represent FDA's views or policy. Product quality is an important standard in car industry, electronics industry, and course, the uh, medicine manufacturing industries. As a patient, we do expect the medicines we take should be safe and effective dose. US FDA main mission is to approve drug product with high quality that are safe, effective, and free from toxic impact. The objectives of this presentation is to provide the regulated scope of the current bioanalytical method validation guidance, the link between the PMV and the data quality, and the FDA laboratory's implementation of PMV guidance. So my presentation will start with the brief introduction on the bioanalytical method validation, followed by the relationship between the bioanalytical method validation and the data quality. Then I will present three case studies where we implement the bioanalytical method validation, and finally, my presentation summary. The bioanalytical method validation guidance applies to chromatographic and lichen binding says, remember, this is a recommendation and can be modified with justification based on the requirements of the bioanalytical method. The fit for purpose recommendation by the guidance is to provide flexibility for the extended extent of level of validation based on the purpose of the study. So method validation, according to the guidance, it's the procedure that demonstrate that the method is reliable and reproducible for the intended use. There are three types of validations. First, full validation when you have a, a new drug or addition of metabolites to the method. Second, so partial validation when you have a change in the sample volume change in anticoagulant or matrix, or change in the sample processing procedure. And the last category is the uh, core validation. This is a basic standard patch design for one day method validation. The guidance recommendation is to have at least five levels of calibration or calibrant standards, four levels of quality control standards spread across the linearity range means you need to have one quality control at lower limit of quantification, second at uh, low QC, at least three times of the LLQ, third is the mid-range QC, and the fourth is the high QC. Other validation parameters, standards recommended by the guidance is to have a blank extracted matrix to ensure the specificity of the method. And zero standard, which is a blank extracted plasma with internal standard to ensure the sensitivity of the, of the method. And finally, the Bionautic Method Validation Guidance recommended to have system suitability standards run at each validation day to ensure the system is running according to the expectation. One of the way to ensure product quality is to uh, ensure data quality. In any analytical method, the final data generated needs to be reliable. There are three data quality arms that are recommended by the guidance. One, system suitability test. In every day, the validation or the sample uh, are performed. 
Second, method validation parameters which include linearity, sensitivity, specificity, selectivity, accuracy, precision, and analyte uh, uh, stability. And the third arm is the quality control checks. Low and high QCs are recommended to ensure that the analytical process is performed according to the uh, validation criteria. So now let's move to case studies that uh, we implemented uh, using the bioanalytical method validation guidance. The first case study is the in vivo evaluation of pediatric products. The study objective was to evaluate the related bioavailability with pharmacokinetics measurement using a validated uh, LCMS uh, method. The first drug, which is bromofenaramine maleate, was compared to bromofenaramine tannate, which was formulated uh, in-house as a taste mass formulation. And the second was the Tamiflu taste mass formulation compared to the uh, uh, marketed formulations. The study was performed in, in pig models. Some of the uh, study design parameters, uh, six milligrams per kilograms of orally dosed formulations were used and plasma PK sample were collected at different interval, uh, time intervals up to 48 hours post dose. And as, as I said, we used validated LCMS method. So presenting here some of the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, project outcome. Bromofenaramine was completely or fully validated uh, according to the uh, uh, PMV guidance, uh, including uh, linearity, accuracy, precision, uh, and analytic stability. And all were found according to the, uh, the PMV, PMV guidance. Uh, some of the uh, results here, PK results, are, are shown on the table on, uh, on your left-hand side. Uh, we compared the uh, with the EUCs, Cmax and Tmax for both the formulations. As you have seen here from uh, on your right hand side, uh, the PK profile for both the formulation were uh, found to be uh, statistically non-significant the difference between uh, the parameters. So it was concluded the taste mask formulation where uh, was uh, bioavailability. Uh, similar to the uh, uh, marketed formulations. Uh, the second uh, drug uh, evaluated, here are some of the uh, results. Uh, we evaluated uh, both the pro drug and the uh, uh, metabolite, the acid metabolite. As you have seen here on uh, your right hand side, the PK uh, profiles for both the pro drug and the and the uh, uh, acid metabolite were uh, similar for both the formulation and it was concluded uh, that both the formulation uh, uh, have similar uh, bioavailability. The second case studies is uh, galantamine. The objective of the study was to uh, evaluate the bioavailability of, of four formulated in-house formulated formulation. That's including the uh, intramuscular, transdermal, two different transdermal formulations, and oral dissolve, dissolving film. BK, plasma BK sample were uh, collected at different time interval, and validated LCMS method was used for the conjugation. Uh, guinea pig uh, models was used as a uh, uh, as a pre uh, preclinical uh, 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 animal models. Presenting here some of the uh, galantamine uh, different formulation uh, PK data. Uh, on the right hand side, you see the PK PK profile for all the form, uh, formulations. On the uh, left-hand side tables, uh, comparing the AUCs for the formulations, 
as we have seen here, uh, different formulation has different uh, uh, PK parameters. Uh, so, galantamin oral dissolving film provided a fast drug release uh, on par with the intramuscular injection. And uh, the transdermal uh, drug delivery system formulations provided prolonged drug uh, release on to maintain the constant uh, galantamine concentration in blood uh, for about uh, 18 hours. The pharmacokinetics results for all the formulation demonstrated that the galantamine oral dissolved film and two transdermal delivery system were all uh, bioavailable in guinea pigs. Uh, this uh, whole project was uh, published in uh, uh, Biomedical uh, Chromatography in 2008. The third example is the uh, uh, in vivo studies uh, of dexamethasone intravitreal uh, uh, implantation. The objectives of the study was to study the systemic exposure level of dexamethasone in rabbit following implementation, implantation of the sustained release intravitreal implant drug product. The study design was a single animal rabbit was used to, uh, to study the, uh, the, 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 the product release in, in different uh, matrices, including plasma, aqueous humor, vitreous humor, and retina tissue at the end of the study. LCMS-MS method was developed and validated according to the guidance, and we use fit for purpose to ensure the data uh, here are some of the uh, 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 results uh, from dexamethasone uh, intravitreal implant study. As you have seen here, plasma did not show any concentration from uh, zero hour until day seven. Other aqueous humor, vitreous humor, and, uh, and retina showed a high concentration. This, uh, the first pilot study using one animal, uh, is to understand the release profile, and we are following uh, with the, another study, valid study, using five animals to generate uh, uh, more data. But the important here is we we tried we implemented the fit uh, for purpose recommendation by the guidance, so which has made it possible to analyze the different matrices with accuracy uh, and precision. So in summary, the good practice of the PMV in, uh, uh, is essential for data quality. Implementing new technologies in bioanalysis will reduce total uh, analytical time and at the same time maintaining the data quality. And finally, the advanced bioanalytical tools will always, will always support the product quality uh, over the drug product lifecycle. I would like to thank the SPIA organizers, my supervisor, Dr. Patrick Faustino, Office Director, Dr. Larry Sue, and the Division Director, Dr. Thomas O'Connor, uh, my uh, MS Lab colleague, Dr. Zhang, Dr. Wang, and Dr. Grace, my OSIS collaborators, Dr. Hader, Dr. Gupta, Dr. Das Gupta, Dr. Julia, and the Office Director, uh, Dr. Uh, Sean Carson. Uh, finally, uh, I would like to thank uh, my uh, OTR family and thank you all for your attention.